To me, being made of grit means being tenacious, it means being bold, it means being unwavering in your commitment to education. As a racialized woman faculty member in the academy, you cannot be effective if you don't have grit. Well, my, my grandfathers uh, came to Canada uh, many, many years ago in the late 1800s and they just wanted to find opportunities that they didn't have in Japan. My grandmothers were also exceptionally brave women, women I wish I got to know better. They entered the country as picture brides from Japan. And these were arranged marriages based on photographs and they carved out lives for themselves. I lived in Toronto, I grew up in Toronto, but it was a very different city than it is now. It was much more homogeneous. Uh, there were kids who called me names. They would uh, taunt me, some of the boys uh, coming home from school along with uh, shouting out racist names at me. They would throw snowballs at me. And I do remember one kid uh, who lived on my street stood up for me and he said, stop doing that to her. My experiences throughout my life have inspired me to research, to fight against, to advocate against inequalities of any kind, to fight for social justice. And no matter what I do, I infuse the project with a concern about social injustice. So along with our Chancellor, Janice Fukukusa, who's an Asian Canadian woman, Julia Shindoy from the university, Janet Lum, who's a faculty member. We decided to collaborate and develop a toolkit to help those who want to fight against anti-Asian racism. And there were many in the community who were very inspired uh, by the we did, and we decided to host a national uh, forum on anti-Asian racism. A liberal arts education prepares students to be effective in their jobs. At the same time, it prepares them to think critically about the world around them. I would teach very large classes and students would come to my office afterwards and say how wonderful, how refreshing, how liberating it is for me to see someone who bears some resemblance to me at the front of the lecture hall.